Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Last Message from Yellow Games. Three to eight players in about 15 minutes. Looks like a party game. I give clues and I erase them. Aha! A crime was just committed. How could we find the culprit in this huge crowd? Wait a minute. The victim is sending us a message. But part of it was erased by the culprit. Find them before the last message. A fast drawing and deduction game will your keen eyes spot the subject suspect in the crowd. The victim has 30 seconds to draw or write as many clues as possible about the criminal's identity. The criminal erases part of the message. The detectives try to find the suspect using an incomplete message. Aha! Okay, well, that's an intriguing setup for a game. Let's take a look inside the box and see what the components maybe tell us about the game. Here is our rule book. With our overview, the victim has four rounds to help the detectives determine the identity of the criminal based on their clues. So, here we see the setup, all right, where it looks like you've got a screen in the middle of the table, one person being the victim and the other is the criminal, and then you've got the detectives on the other side of the table, all right. So it looks like the victim and the, and the criminal sit on one side of the table and the detectives sit on the other side, and the criminal will be the one to erase portions of the clues that the victim is giving to the detective. So, plays over four rounds, each round has three steps. The victim leaves clues, the criminal covers their tracks, and the detectives choose a suspect. All right, so, it kind of describes the clues can be text and or drawings. They can't draw or write the same element of the crime scene multiple times in different spaces, but they can draw and write the same element, element so they can Write diamond and draw a diamond, okay? It says they should draw and or write on as many different spaces of the board as possible, even placing elements across multiple spaces because I'm assuming you're going to be erasing part of them and if you put them all in one box, then it makes it easy to get rid of it, all right? So the criminal takes the board and erases a number of spaces based on the round. In the first round, five spaces, then four, then three, then two, and then they show it to the, to the detectives and they try to figure out who it might be based on the clues that they're given. All right. Pretty cool little idea. I mean, it seems, I think we all know how to play the game right now just based off of that. Not very complicated. Here are our boards. All right. Dry erase. And here we can see double-sided boards where you're going to be trying to give clues. So you can see there's a whole lot of stuff here, and that, that, that's going to obviously inform the difficulty of the game. Otherwise, it might be too easy, but there's a whole lot here to try to parse out if you are the detectives. Makes it not so easy to give clues if you're the victim. All right. And there's a lot of these, too. A lot of different kind of scenarios here. You've got westerns and zombies. And as we've seen from many popular video games, you can have both. You can have zombies in the Old West. Ah, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is like a fold-out of all of them. I see. All right. That folds to, theoretically, although for some reason I'm struggling to open this last one. There we go. There we go. All right. And then, if I don't drop all those, we've got our screen that gets put in the middle of the table there to block the detectives from the victim and the criminal. All right. And then we've got our dry erase markers and our timer. And then a little probably for a round marker would be my guess. All right, well, seems like a cute idea. Uh, could be a fun party game. That is Last Message. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.